Hey guys, it's Monica. I just wanted to show you guys something really cool that's coming up. We have the Chipotle. So Chipotle Challenger Series. It's been this whole event that's been happening pretty much last week and this week with qualifiers. And we have finals coming up this Sunday. Uh, so I just want to let you guys know about it. Uh, you still have tomorrow is the very last day of qualifiers if you want to get in on that. The Chipotle Challenger Series featuring PUBG Mobile Finale will feature 24 qualified teams and eight invited influencer teams. So I'm going to be one of those eight influencer teams. Uh, this is duels, by the way, who will face off for a chance to secure a portion of the prizes, which includes $65,000 in cash, $5,000 in prizing, and then free Chipotle entries for a year. Finale is going to be the best of five matches. Uh, they're going to have um, points for kills and for placement. And the finale is this Sunday, July 25th. It is going to be on Chipotle's Twitch channel. So twitch.tv slash Chipotle. Um, and it will go live at 3.30 p.m. Eastern time. Uh, yeah, lots of cool things in game. And then obviously a ton of money to be had uh, through the tournament. Yeah, so that's it. Um, I did want to kind of run through the different new things that are going on in game. The first one is going to be the Royal Pass. Uh, so the Royal Pass, it is, um, you know, some things are staying the same, like the rebate function. But new this season is instead of having the seasons um, ha lasting for eight weeks, it is now shortened down to just four weeks. And then the maximum level is going to be level 50. Uh, the Royal Pass is much cheaper now i want to say it was 360 some you see just to get the you know four weeks for this royal pass so lots of really really cool outfits i am i'm really obsessed with this last one with the uh i don't know ever since i got my first movement outfit that, that's kind of all i ever want to see now that i want to grab so i'm definitely going to be going for this one eventually uh here's a little trailer for it I also wanted to just take a look at the the new modes. This is going to be an Evo Grounds called Mission Ignition. It's a little rhyming name. So basically, the technology and energy company Dyna Hex is transforming Rango with technology. Enjoy the new combat experience made possible by the techno technological transformation of urban areas and equipment of the future on Rango. So the future is here. So we're going to go ahead and play so I'm going to play this on solo mode for you guys and just kind of show you kind of how to play through this mode. Um, it said in the future, so maybe some of these features are going to come to normal PUBG. First things first, uh, this is the map here. You can see the legend here. So we have Giga Factories, which I'll, uh, I'll land on one of those for you guys. So basically, it's just kind of those two, two big buildings kind of all put together. Warehouse with a lot of really good loot inside. A patrol, robot, air, conveyor, hyperline stop. All right. So first thing that I wanted to show you guys was that Giga Factory. Uh, so I'm just going to go ahead and jump down once I hit 750. Let's get to that. And conveniently, they have a big yellow light there, so I know exactly where I'm landing. Moving Gaka. All right, there it is. Uh, so this is kind of one massive building here. I've actually never landed on the roof here. I'm just, I'm just out of curiosity. I just want to see if there's anything on the roof. I highly doubt it. Okay, I'm going to take fall damage falling down here for sure. Uh, other thing to note in this, the there are doors off to the side. Ow. There are doors off to the side that actually do not open. So don't get debated by this. Let me go inside and grab some stuff. Oh my god, there's people here. What is that going on here? New gun, new gun. There's so a bot right there. Come on. Come on. All 
I have 13 bullets. I'm gonna go through all the attachments after I clear this place out real quick. It's just spots, I swear. Alright, so I picked a lot of good stuff here, so I'm just gonna go through it and kind of explain what this all is. Uh, one thing is a riot shield. Uh, so I wanted to show you guys. So say uh, I'll, I'll use it in action. OK, well, we'll wait. But you see here. Um, so you have the riot shield that you're just kind of waiting for you to push it down. And I can kind of cancel it if I didn't want to do it. So basically you can use it mid fight. Say somebody is shooting at you and just kind of put it down. And you can hide behind that. So just immediate hard, you know, uh, hard cover that you can use to uh, protect yourself. Uh, equip this to see a position mark after hitting an enemy uh, and then the mini map will also show the direction of teammates gunfire so if I if I had teammates and they were shooting I uh, normally in normal mode you just see that uh, you know they are shooting kind of in whatever direction so in this case using this equipment I am able to I'm able to see kind of in what direction so immediately I'm kind of you know I'm not wasting my time asking hey you know where's the enemy Um, not wasting my time like asking my teammate where's the enemy and they have to mark it and they have to find kind of where this is But here was the riot shield us uh, and I didn't get ease it there So basically, you know hard cover here and then easy, you know peek out like that just middle of the fight. Let's see what the goodies we got Let's pick up. Um, yeah, there's a, a lot of new muzzles going on in here uh, Let me just see so muzzle for AR and then I believe I had a muzzle for the SMG So reduces horizontal recoil and vertical recoil. So I'm gonna leave that one on there uh, Let me just get rid of some of this other stuff on here, but definitely need an AR at some point so that's kind of a basic rundown. There's uh there's new ones like grip. There's an ergonomical grip and significantly improves the stability of a firearm. Let's see. So I guess that's compatible with the UMP. Still have to use a vertical grip on the Thompson. All right, just kind of running around, just kind of looking for what else I got in here. But yeah, so that that's kind of the basis of this game i'm gonna go look for uh one of the rails just to show you guys that one too so let's let's look for a hyperline stop all right you want to take a look does it stop oh the doors are open oh it's on the right side Oh, let me in, let me in, let me in. Ooh. All right, so I got in. This is my first time inside one. Oh, this is exciting. So there's, so there's stops all over the place. Looks like there's this. Okay, what happens if you get hit by a red zone in the middle of it? But it looks like you're unable to shoot out of it. You can shoot out of the windows here at anyone kind of. You might be passing by and such. Uh, looks like I see a close button. Oh, what am I opening? Oh, you can open and close the windows. All right, so extra protection here. Just I don't want anybody shooting at me. But looks like there's kind of bus stops all over the place. And then it looks like they have a timer on the map. As you can see, uh, I'm going to guess that's how long you're... Oh, okay. So it's letting you know how long until it open, you know, how long until it stops, and then how long it has. Looks like it's about four seconds now. Two seconds before it closes, it's gonna go once again. Looks like it's just kind of one big loop. It goes all the way to the end and then comes all the way back. All right, grab the AR. The hyperline. Good luck. All right, so I wanted to go see the orange dot. Looks like there's a lot of new buildings, new structures. Is that? So this replaced school. That's why I don't die here. Oh my god. All right, so we're on our way to see the air conveyor. I just want to see what that is. Oh my goodness. It looks like you can get in. Enter and then move within the field of vision to control the trajectory of the air conveyor. So so you can kind of change the direction. So let, let's go for circle and then let's go. All 
as he is sent flying up. All right, so this is very, which one was, it? I think it was the three year anniversary of PUBG Mobile, remember where they had these, uh, the structures around where they would send you in the air and they would send you like this. This, this is very reminiscent of that. All right, we see we see some improvements in Pachinki. This looks, this almost looks like, almost looks like the streets in Livic, remember? They're, they're just kind of like all updated, they're paved and everything. Bro, where are these people? Bro, where are these kids? Oh my god, there's a drop right here? Okay. Hey, okay, so that was the ignition uh gameplay so thank you guys so much for watching i uh, just got the dub for you guys um that was the first time i ever played it so i uh, had a lot of fun so thank you guys so much for watching and i will catch you guys next time